while I speak this today, the government declares internet shutdown in some part of the country. Hello everyone, this is Ritam Mukherjee and today in this video, I will be talking about the Citizenship Amendment Bill. Until and unless you have been living under a rock, you must be knowing what Citizenship Amendment Bill is. In case you don't, the Citizenship Amendment Bill is a piece of legislation that aims to ensure that non-Muslim immigrants from Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh are granted citizenship even if they do not carry the valid visas or documents. This bill also aims to ensure that the living time or living period in India is reduced from 12 years to 6 years, making them the prospective voters in the next general elections. This amendment, initially introduced in 2016, attempts to change the 1955 Indian Citizenship Act, according to which a person can only be called an Indian citizen if number one, his parents were of Indian descent, Number two, if he has been born in India. And number three, if the concerned person has lived in India for a considerable amount of time. So, what is the change? Under 1955 Citizenship Act, illegal migrants were prohibited from acquiring Indian citizenship. With this bill coming up, this provision has been amended. And now, minority groups from Islamic states that face religious persecution, like Hindus, Christians, Buddhists, Jains, Sikhs and Parsis will not be considered as illegal immigrants anymore. This bill is not a point minority. This bill passes, Madam Chair, it will mark the victory of Muhammad Ali Jinnah's thinking over that of Mahatma Gandhi. After 20 plus long hours of debate and discussion, the Citizenship Amendment Bill was passed in Lok Sabha with a hefty margin of 311 votes in support and 80 against. Similarly, in Rajya Sabha, it managed to get a majority but with a narrower margin with 125 yes votes and 105 no votes. So, why is this bill problematic? because it is undemocratic in nature and distinguishes citizenship on the basis of religion. Subsects of Islam like Rohingyas and Ahmadiyyas has been exempted from this bill because it provides protection to non-Muslim immigrants fleeing religious persecution in their Islamic states of Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. This bill has raised a couple of questions since it has been tabled and here are some of them. Number one. Why has other neighboring countries like Myanmar, Tibet, Sri Lanka not considered under the purview of this bill? Given the fact that citizenship in India was never based on religion, how detrimental is this amendment to the protection of secularism and fundamental rights? Number two, what is the yardstick of measuring religious persecution? The generation that faced it is in the tombs now. So how will the government decide whose story of religious persecution was a reality and whose was not? Number 3. What happens to atheist immigrants who do not believe in any religion? Do they or do they not get any refuge? Number 4. How will the government identify the religion of an undocumented migrant once he shows up at our borders and seeks refuge in our country? Reversely, how will a migrant prove to the government that he belongs to one of the six mentioned religions without any proof or valid documents. This contentious, highly polarized bill has been called out as exclusive, divisive and extremely violative of Indian Constitution's Article 14 that grants equality to everyone. This bill has been accused of marginalizing a community without naming it, effortlessly reducing Muslims to second class citizens of India. Against the opposition's accusation, the Home Ministry has rebutted by saying that this bill does not violate any constitutional provision. The Home Minister Amit Shah, while introducing this bill in the Lok Sabha, has said that this bill, while implementing, will follow the principle of reasonable classification, which is an immunity given under Article 14. So if the bill follows reasonable classification, then this bill will not be unconstitutional. He has also said that this bill does not take away any citizenship of the already existing and living Indian Muslims in India, so no Muslim need to live 
in a fear of this bill. Sab jo puchenge, sab ka jawab dunga. After being passed in both the houses, this bill has met with severe criticism across the length and breadth of the country, especially in Assam, where the natives have taken to the streets protesting that this bill is a violation of the Assam Accord. Before the implementation of the NRC, the Assamese were concerned about the number of illegal immigrants who have crossed borders from Bangladesh and has entered Assam. They felt that this constant influx of illegal migrants has overrun the number of indigenous Assamese and in turn changed the language, culture and social fabric of the state. With the due implementation of the Citizenship Amendment Bill, the cutoff date for granting citizenship will be relaxed from 24th March 1971 to 31st December 2014. The Assamese now believe that with this move, the government will normalize a huge chunk of immigrant population and grant them citizenship.